Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the how to integrate Salesforce with Python. So this video will be very helpful. So please watch this video until end and don't receive any part of this video. So if you want to learn this integration, I requested you all, please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side. All right. So first of all, if you want to integrate Salesforce with Python, so you have to do some scripting. Okay, so I will show you how we can create these Python files and how we can run it. So in this video, so let's move in the VS Code. So in the VS Code, you have to, you know, install the Python as uh, based on your, you know, operating system. So I have this virtual environment here and I already installed the Python and you can check the Python version like this one. So right now I'm using Python 3.1, 3.5. This is my version. And also before integration, this uh, Salesforce with the Python, you have to install some packages or dependencies. So this is the dependency I will show you here. Like pipe, you have to use pipe, install, install, sample hyphen salesforce okay so simple hyphen salesforce so this is the dependency you have to install it this one i already installed it and set up everything so just keep in your mind these all things okay for your knowledge purpose after that you have to create the config.py file dot py means python this is the extension of the python right under this file you have to mention your salesforce username salesforce password salesforce security token and salesforce domain so don't give any domain like uh, http as colon slash slash then login dot salesforce dot com or test dot salesforce no because this dependency or package can be handled by a you know python so keep it like this like login so if you have production login if you have like any sandboxes so you can use like test so this is the prerequisite. You have to mention this uh, config dot file and don't share this file with others or something like that because it's a uh, some secret because it's a username and password and security token as well. So anyone can access your org easily. So please make this very secret. Okay. Now let's move the next file. Our next file is like sales for underscore connection dot pi. Okay. So whenever we already install the you know simple this salesforce right dependency and package from this uh, package okay and import salesforce so you have to write these things after that import config so i already created this config file here you can see this is a config file so you have to import it after that you have to create the function so in the python like def definition and create f function so this is the function name under here i need to create the instance of the salesforce like sf equal to salesforce and in salesforce we have lots of things like username password security token and domain you have to map each and every variables here after that you can print your statement like connection is successfully established or not and then you can return it this file is only responsible to make the connection between the salesforce and the python so please keep in your mind this file right after that now you have to create another file that is main.py this is the very most important file in in case if you are execute or if you are working on the you know python so this is a very most important file so here you can see like from salesforce underscore connection so this is the file we already you know import from this file and you can create underscore underscore here you can see underscore sf underscore connection and this is the main function under the main function, I just want to call my sf create function because this function is coming from this file like create sf function and here you can see sf function and here you can see the create command. Okay, so new contact is a variable equal to sf contact dot create and I just pass the required field like last name and these all optional like email and first name. After that, you can see a contact ID if you need to get the contact id so you have to pass like need this variable and the id and then print the contact id after that you can see like if this is the main things so 
this is by default you know python given this main functions like as a you know working on the c language or c c language or c plus plus we have like main function is the entry point that's why you can see the main here same thing here okay so this is the creation i will show you the old dml like create update delete get everything so one by one we will see here so this is the first one like create so let's see in the action how to create the record uh, using this python in salesforce right so just open your terminal under the terminal just you have to use like a python main.py so you have to run this script so enter it and after some time you will be see the connection established and the created record id because we already mentioned here like in the print statement like contact id so created contact contact id here so how we can verify this is this record is created in the salesforce or not just open the op go to the my profile because i already renamed the contact you know object uh, apps so now you can see the john doe is created by the python here and the all the information here right these all now this is the creation now how we can get this detail this contact this uh, contact record detail in python very simple i have already created like a read one so just copy this one and paste it here so let me close it and make it this comment out this code and paste it here okay so it's asking like contact id so we already seen in the terminal this is the contact id just copy it right and just paste it here remove it as a dynamic if you need like a dynamic so keep it like that and you can work accordingly right so just save this file again you have to run your python main.py and now after that you can see like read this are record id name and the email because in my sql query you can see the select id first name last name email that's why you can see these all things here right like id id first name last name john doe email and an email right that's why you can see this one so this is the read purpose we already seen this create one and this is the read purpose now let me add the another one that is update right so how we can update it very simple and very useful right we can update the you know the contact this existing contact so i already have this one so just don't worry about it just copy it and paste it here all right remove it and now it's it is asking like contact id so as of now i'm giving this uh, like as a hard coded value you can make it as a dynamic based on your need okay so now updated john doe record like this just save this right now in the org you can see the john doe right let me execute this script and after that you will be see like john doe is updated let me refresh it and here you will be see the record is updated like john updated doe okay so this is the update also email id also be changed you can see updating something like that okay now it's time to check like how we can delete it so i have this one very simple one so just copy it based on the id we can delete it right so let me make it has commented this code and here we have to pass this and here we can use this one except dot contact dot delete because this is a predefined function like insert update delete right and here this is the delete function and based on the id you can delete it right same for like here you can see the create means insert right so now let me execute this you know this is script and let's see in the action so after that you can see salesforce connection established this is a read one and after that deleted record id so once you refresh it you will not see this record because it's already deleted from uh, this salesforce to recycle bin. now you can see looks like as a problem so how we can identify you have to go to the app launcher and open the recycle bin so just click on this recycle bin and immediately you can see the deleted record like john Doe. okay so this is how you can 
you know integrate salesforce with the python and it's easy to perform any dml operation no need worry about to write single line of codes it's a simple script it's a and user is understandable script so anyone can read and write this code okay so i hope guys you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys